This video is a Moon Wallet tutorial. Moon Wallet is a Bitcoin Lightning Network wallet. I'll show you how to get set up with the wallet, how to get Bitcoin in and out of the wallet, both on the base layer and on the Lightning Network. And if you don't have Lightning Network Bitcoin, I'll show you an easy method to get some so you can use the Bitcoin payment network. Uh, Timestamps for all of that down in the description. Go and download Moon Wallet from your app store then. I'll leave the Moon Wallet official website in the description so that will have the official links to the app downloads. Just make sure you're not downloading any fake applications. Moon Wallet on your app store. And then we have two options here. We have recover an existing wallet or create a new wallet. So with Moon Wallet, you do get um, some sort of recovery. It's very different to a normal type of wallet where you have a seed phrase. Uh, there are three different options which we'll go through. So you can recover wallets and you have complete control and all of the seed phrases and everything. If you want to do that and you set up a Moon Wallet before, you can just recover it on a different phone or a different device with your same wallet. We're going to create a new wallet though. So just click this and then it says enter a pin. So I'm just going to enter a simple pin uh, zero and zero again. And then we open, do you want to allow face ID? You can obviously say yes or no, I'll say yes. So we'll go through to the wallet and that's it. We literally have a wallet set up and it's that easy. You've created a new wallet, welcome to Moon, let's go. So from right here, we can actually send and receive BTC both on the base layer and on the Lightning Network. Now you can see because of my phone settings, it's defaulted to down here GBP, pound sterling, but obviously if you're in a different country, it's gonna to default to showing you your Bitcoin balance in your fiat currency as well. There are three ways to back up Moon Wallet, which we'll go through now. And as I said, it's a little bit different to just getting a seed phrase because Moon Wallet with Lightning Network is using Taproot and multi-signature wallet technology to basically make things easier and better from a customer standpoint, but also just as secure. So what we can do is click back up your wallet. So we can click that and you can see three options here. So the first one is just to back up your wallet with your email address and a password. So just like a login account. So if you press this, it says back up and then it says uh, use your email address. So what you can do here is put your email address in. It's gonna send you a code. You have to confirm the code in the app that you own the email address and then you can obviously choose your own password as well. So an email and password login. Now this is the least secure, um, but obviously you don't need to write down any seed phrases. And this means that if you reload the wallet on a different device, you can just log into your account and all of your assets should be there waiting for you on that different device. So this is step one and you can go ahead and do this. You don't need to back up the wallet at all if you just wanna use it on the device you've downloaded it on and you don't want any account at all, nothing at all. You can just use this straight as it is, but obviously you can't recover that on a different device if you don't have any login details. So back up your wallet, press this, and then just go through that process of getting the email code and verifying it in the app. I've registered an email and added a password here and it tells me that I will need those details to recover the wallet on a different device. So without those, you won't be able to cover, recover any of your funds once you've done this. So you press yes and Moon cannot reset my password if I forget it. So they don't have access to this. So you just need to make sure that those details are written down somewhere safe or remembered. So we'll press finish right here and then that creates that backup with the wallet tied to that email address with that password. So I've backed up my wallet. Now the second option here is what they call an alternative backup. If you've ever created a wallet before with a seed phrase, this isn't that. Actually, this is more like an encryption key that works with the third option, which, which is the emergency kit. Just wanna quickly explain how Moon Wallet works so you can see this. Moon Wallet works with your email and password right here, what we've just done. But there's an encryption key in the second option. And this is something that you write down. It's a phrase uh, that you can use with the emergency kit. So the encryption key is a phrase that you're gonna write down. It's not a seed phrase, but it's kind of similar. And it actually works with the emergency kit. This is because Moon Wallet is a two of two multi-sig, meaning that you own or have access to both of the keys to sign transactions. And Moon Wallet actually has one of them. And there's a reason for this. It just makes transactions easier, especially on the Lightning Wallet. But Moon actually owns and has one of the signing keys, you have both of them. So you have ultimate control of the wallet and they can never do anything with the wallet without the second key, which they don't own. And so they have one key, you have both. The emergency kit allows for your total control and recovery. So the emergency kit has both keys and uh, they're encrypted and it works with the encryption key, which you have. You can you know, unencrypt them and get access to that. The application is also protected by a pin, which you've seen. So they actually have one of the keys, but with the encryption key and the emergency kit, you have all of the information and all of the private keys for all of the wallets. 
With that information, then we can go ahead and create the alternative backup. I've already done this. It just shows you a list of letters and numbers. You just have to write them down, check them and make sure they're correct. And then you can create that backup. Once you've done that, you will need to use that to recover the wallet on a different device. So you need both of these pieces of information together to recover the wallet. It's just a list of letters and numbers that you can check and write down somewhere safe. The third option is the emergency kit and this contains both sets of private keys, the one that Moon has and the one that you have and the Lightning Network info as well. If we click this, what you can see is it's one document, it's a PDF and it says all of the information there and it gives you instructions on how to independently transfer or recover the wallet and it's uh, stored online. You don't have to store it online, but Moon think this is okay. And then we scroll through, you can complete the ownership. So create your emergency kit. And it says, do you wanna save this to your drive, to iCloud or use another cloud? You can also click don't use cloud storage. I personally wouldn't want this on cloud storage, although it is essentially encrypted and you need that encryption key that you've just written down to unlock it. And so if you've written that down on a piece of paper and it's not online, then that encryption key cannot be hacked from anywhere. So that's why they tell you to write that down on a piece of paper. However, I would still feel safer if I would get this PDF and basically just have it on my phone or computer, print it out and then not store it online. But uh, Moon think it's safe to store online, so you can do that. I won't go through this option right here, but essentially that is all of the information for your wallets in a PDF, and it gives you all of the instructions, and you use that with the other code that you've just written down to unlock it so you can get that information. There is an important setting within Moon Wallet that you might want to change or at least know about. So we'll come down to settings in the bottom right. I'm gonna change the Bitcoin unit to SATs because I'll be using the Lightning Network in this wallet. Main currency is dollars, just easier for me to value things. Bitcoin Network here, default to Taproot. I would leave this off. Taproot, to, as you can see, makes your payments cheaper and less traceable, but not many services support this as standard right now. So I'll just leave that off. Lightning Network, I'm gonna change receiving protocol to Lightning first. Um, it's just a QR code that you show people either has a Bitcoin address or a Lightning address. They are different. And so you can just default to which one you're gonna use the most. Turbo channels right here, I'm gonna leave on. Now turbo channels um, is a little bit less safe than leaving it off. So when you make a, a Lightning Network payment, you need to use a payment channel and one may not be open for you to make that payment. And so one is created. Now turbo channels means that it just cuts out the 30 minute wait time for you to be able to send and receive transactions. However, it does increase the um, ability for double spends if you're uh, sending to someone who is basically malicious. So I would leave this on just because I don't think I'd be sending to anyone malicious. But if you leave it off, then the payment may take 30 minutes to actually spin up a, ch a channel and then make the payment, which is obviously not good if you're trying to pay people quickly. And so Turbo, channel, turbo Channels left on just makes things a lot a lot quicker. It's slightly less secure though, but like I said, I don't think it's gonna be a big problem for most payments, but you can make a decision on that um, for your own personal use case, but that is all of the settings. There are two ways to receive Bitcoin on Moon Wallet. You can either use a standard Bitcoin address or you can use a Lightning Network invoice. If we press receive here, I've defaulted it to the Lightning Network on the left-hand side. This QR code and the Lightning Network invoice long address down at the bottom is something that I would need to share to receive these payments. So if we go down to invoice settings, you can see an amount here. Now, depending on which Lightning Network wallet that you're sending from, you may actually need a specific amount in the invoice for them to send the money. So what you will need to do here is press add and then add an amount of sats that you would want to receive. And then you can uh, essentially use the other wallet to scan the invoice and send that amount. Uh, so we'll do that in a second, but you can use the Lightning Network invoice like that. Now with Moon Wallet, you can actually just share this QR code without any invoice as well, which is a really good feature and a lot of wallets don't do that. So this is good for Moon Wallet. On the Bitcoin side, you can see this is just a normal Bitcoin address and you'll be receiving Bitcoin on the base layer right here. So you can just share that address as normal and send in some BTC. Now when you have BTC, you'll see that it's just a unified balance here and you can see the amount of sats that you have. And when we receive an, uh, an invoice or a payment in, you can see which network's actually been used.
Let's go ahead and get some Bitcoin in our wallet then with a Lightning Network transaction. If you don't have any Lightning Network Bitcoin, I'll show you an easy method to get some that isn't high cost or going through any weird services. So what we can do is press receive and then it defaults to the Lightning Network QR code. Now the service that I'm gonna use, which is Kraken, require an invoice with an amount of sats on there, which most do. So we can come down to invoice settings, press add at the bottom, and then I'm gonna create an invoice with an amount of sats. So let's do 20,000 sats. Uh, which is around $6, so I'll press confirm amount. Now this is creating a, an invoice with my address and the amount of sats that uh, I've requested. So what we can do here is just copy this and it copies the code for me and this invoice expires at around midnight. Uh, now I'm gonna leave this link in the description. It shows you a list of exchanges that actually allow you to withdraw Bitcoin over the Lightning Network and essentially do the, um, the swap for you from the base layer up into the Lightning Network for basically no cost. I'm gonna use Kraken here, you know, a reliable and trustworthy exchange for the most part, I think. Um, so what we can do here is, is go to Kraken. Now I don't personally use Kraken that much, but I deposited some Bitcoin in here and it's gonna let me withdraw it over the Lightning Network for free. So I don't have to pay anything uh, to get Bitcoin onto the Lightning Network or do any of the exchange from the base layer, which is obviously really, really good. Um, you know, very cheap and trustworthy way of doing things. So what I can do right now is go to withdraw after I set up an account and have the Bitcoin in here. If you wanna know how to use Kraken or exchanges, I'll leave some links to tutorials down in the description. Uh, I'll leave a link to Kraken as well as a sign up uh, sign up there. You can see if they've got any you know bonuses or anything like that. Um, but if you do sign up and have an account for free, you can use this as a service even if you have another account because they do allow you to do this. So we're gonna add a lightning request. We're going to get an amount of Bitcoin here or as we're withdrawing, we're gonna withdraw that over the Lightning Network right here, uh, and we're going to add a withdrawal request. So now what I need to do is just paste this in right here, the withdrawal request, uh, request and I need to paste in the Lightning invoice that I just copied from my phone, uh, because that's gonna give me the details for the withdrawal. I pasted in the invoice and gave the withdrawal address uh, a name, which was just Moon Wallet. Kraken then confirmed that via email to make sure that I wanted to uh, add that, and that's all gone through. So once that went through and I confirmed that via email, you can see the withdrawal request right here, Moon, and you can see the invoice details. Now this expires in 23 hours. I basically can't change this now because the Lightning invoice is an amount, so I can press withdraw 20,000 sats, uh, see the details and press confirm and withdraw 20,000 sats. Now once that goes through, you should be able to see that uh, going into the Moon Wallet as well. So we'll wait a few seconds. You can see that's initiated on the right hand side. Once that goes through, that should be in my Moon Wallet. That transaction has gone through, so I've now received 20,000 sats into my wallet. I sent 20,000 sats from Kraken, so that transaction was basically free. If we scroll up as well, you can see the transactions here. If you click on this, you can see the details of the transaction. Um, so there was no uh, cost for that transaction, which is obviously pretty good. Uh, so we now have those sats in our wallet. If you wanna send out that Bitcoin or just spend it over the Lightning Network, you can press send and then it says enable camera. If you're in a shop buying something, you can just scan a QR code or down here you can enter a text address for a different wallet. So I'll just show you that. So I enter a text address and then it shows me that I need to input an invoice from a different wallet. I'll then create an invoice in a different wallet just to show you. This is a wallet of Satoshi. So I'm gonna create a Lightning invoice right here and I'm gonna add an amount. So I'm gonna add a 5,000 sats like this, which is about a dollar, which is fine. And I'm gonna generate that invoice right here. So I'm just gonna copy that invoice and then I'm gonna go back to the Moon Wallet. I can now paste that into Moon Wallet as an invoice that I'm gonna to send to. So I'll just paste that here and I'm gonna press continue and then it's gonna confirm the details. Do you wanna want send 5,000 sats over to Wallet of Satoshi? The network fee is one sat, so that's absolutely fine for me. So I'm just gonna press send right here and that should send extremely quickly. So that's been debited from my account and it will go back to Wallet of Satoshi right now. That's literally gone immediately and that was like one second. So I now received those 5,000 those 5, sats. So that's how quick it is. And you do pay a little bit from Moon Wallet. That's obviously how they make a little bit of money charging you, you know, a very small amount to actually send the transaction. The Lightning Network is still very new, so I would only use coffee money on here or just money to play around with. Certainly not my investment money. I'd recommend hardware wallets like Ledger for that, where you're gonna keep your investments. I'll leave a link to Ledger in the description as well. Other helpful videos down there. I'm James with MoneyZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.